you know, all my visitors here. Come, you young man. Come. This man is a prophet from Botswana. This man. When I met him, I found how he was attacked. I when I met this man. Because what has happened to our young people who are chosen by God, they forget God and look for money. They forget God and look for money. So whoever comes their way, the blessing. So I want to pray that God will use him mightily. But if you take the mic to him, you can stand here, you people, today. If you take the mic to him here, he can tell you how this lady was blessing him. Hold him, hold him. He must not fall down now. He will fall down when I pray for him. Because, listen to this, one of our challenges is money. This is a young man. And the lady, old lady, come. Can you just explain to them when we are still standing? How the lady was blessing you speak. Hallelujah. So this is how the story. Leave him to talk. That's how the story was. This lady, this lady she approached my ministry. There in Palape, Botswana. She came uh, as small as she's a sweet woman uh, claiming to, to come and support the ministry of Christ. Because she saw that we were worshipping under a tree actually with all the elders of, that, of, of my area. So she, found that we had no place. she found that we had no place of worship. This man must speak looking at me. Okay, He's not looking at me. Okay, carry on. So and on her arrival, she started to, to promise me a lot of, lot of things, a lot of stuffs. The first appearance of her in my service, she brought a lot of, lot of money. That money was too much. For the very first time, I, it was my first time to see such kind of money that was offered. Actually, being called a seed. I, I want to be honest, the money was so too much for me. To the extent that I was even shocked the whole, the whole, the whole, the whole month. And honestly, continuously, this woman, she continually visited me. Promised me a lot of things. A lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of uh, uh, even buying houses over. I was even promised to go to China. I was promised a lot of wealthy. So, I was, we are, we are so close by that time. I was so close to her that she even told me, you should be free to tell me even your personal life. If you have, if you've got a girlfriend, tell me about your girlfriend because I know you are a small, uh, a small boy. You might be playing, though you, can, you might be hiding behind my neck. She, she, she wanted to know more. If I told her that I am not dating, I'm not having any girlfriend around me. Said, I'll, I'll, let me just arrange for you so that I can give you somebody that you can just help. Have fun with. She promised to give me somebody that I'll just have a pleasure or fun time with. Because she was, she's an old woman, I, 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 heard, that, I heard that fear to, to talk to that such much level. She would just leave the conversation on the way. And one day she will take me out. Maybe we go for at Nando's to relax there with some other people. From there, that's when we start to chat. According to me, she wanted to she wanted to open my heart so that I, I can be able to share deep of deep of my. Well, especially my relationship life. But relationship that that point, I never disclosed anything unto so her. So there came a time now where I see that the, the track was going in another level. This woman now she 
told me exactly what her purpose is. She told me, I want to make you one of the richest prophets in the world. Take the example of some certain prophets that are here in the world. That can you see how they are living? I can make you of such kind. You will have many houses around the world. She promised me a lot of things. I remember even my wife's man, I, I, I even told my wise man, can't this woman, she is telling me this, this, this. My wise man was was given a key of a house. A huge house in Palape. An electrified one. With a remote control, a complete house. When I, when I came, my wise man gave me the keys. I gave them back to him. I said, I can't take these keys. He started to ask, ah, why can't you take this off? I said, no, 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 no. You don't understand. That's when I started to unfold the whole story about this, this kingdom financer. What he was intending to do. So, in most cases, she told me that she financed the many prophets who are so huge. Actually, I can't mention names. <laughs> but she openly told me all things. You see this one, I have groomed him. You see this one, I have groomed him. So I can make you to come to that point. That's when now I, 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 I refused. After I refused, uh, now things became so intense in my life. To the extent now, I was forced to sell each and everything that that woman gave to me. I, I had some, I had, hey, I have several cars. Right now, I don't have one. I possess them through this woman. After, after I showed that I'm not having any interest in joining uh, the, the wealthy prophets that are there out there. That's when now things started to scatter in my life. Let, let's leave it there. Let's leave. This is a great lesson. One of the things that my brother might have picked was I'll make you a richest person, but you must get a girl. I must get a girl for you. Automatically, if you are hearing riches and a girl, ah, you just say a girl, I, I want money. And then from there, the spirit entered in. Can you tell us how the spirit entered you? Yes, this is how the spirit entered me. I was driving one of the one of my, one of the the car that I used to have, the BMW 320. BMW 320. So, is it coming from her? Yes. So the. the as it, this is how it came in my dream. I was driving this car. So a, a, a black man, he was wearing everything black. He was pulling a black dog. He just entered the measure on the road. So a certain fear came upon me. To extent that I accelerated. I wanted to hit this thing. Immediately the car entered on that position. That man turned into a smoke. A, like a burning tire. Yeah, that smoke entered me. And from there, that's how, how things started to scatter on my, on my life. That's how I was attacked with that spirit. I want to stretch my hand to you. God is releasing you and use you. Take it! Take that power in Jesus' mighty name. Be used by mighty God from Amen. today. In Jesus' name. He is already delivered. Receive anointing. Just receive anointing wherever you are. Take it. I just want him to receive anointing. Only to receive anointing. Glory be to God. Amen. So, you can see, I believe, you are not married. Eh? Eh? Yes. So I believe God will give you a right partner. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My name is Prophet David. I come from Botswana. Hey, the challenges that, that brought him here was the challenges around my ministry, actually, there in, in Botswana, Palape. So I've been having many attacks uh, on my ministry, uh, uh, spiritual attacks, uh, that my church will, also, will, will always have uh, 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 fights where there will be no peace amongst the members everything will be just scattering the other things was that i was being even tormented on my on my on my on my my dreams 
I was actually experiencing weird visions. And the other thing that, I was, that, that, was, that was challenging me was prophets and pastors who were stand, standing against my ministry, who were standing against my ministry, actually, let me say. Which by all means, they will, they, will try, they, will, they will do things around my ministry. Those who were trying to convince me so that I can join them, maybe on their falsehood. Uh, so by that, because I, failed, because I failed them and I refused all these things, they started to attack me. More to the extent that we've been having some, some court cases, uh, some, some police cases, um, even between me and these prophets. So these were the many challenges that I was facing in my life. Uh, as it was mentioned by, by Apostle of God, some of the things it was that uh, I encountered with some, when we encountered with some, some, some what should I say, some fi kingdom financiers who are not sent from God, who are actually from the kingdom of darkness trying to deceive me so that I can maybe join the, or I can join their kingdom for the sake of them trying to help me. So those were the challenges that brought me here. Uh, I started experiencing this the, towards, towards, the, towards the, around October last year. I've been going through this. So for me to come here, the situation was intensifying more and more. That even all that I possessed, I, I was losing everything now. I said to, to lose everything so that I can sell, so that I can, I, I can sustain the ministry. And also my coming here also, uh, it was just by the privilege of God, just because I sold out a car so that I can manage to come here, in which I believe God that everything shall be restored for me. Hey, uh, hey. What I wanted God to do is to use his anointed apostle to locate the main cause or the root cause of my troubles. Uh, and exactly uh, my desire, was, my prayer was answered. The apostle, the apostle of God, managed to, to locate the root cause of my of my situations. That they, he said there are some. That I'm seeing some evil, evil, evil forces that are trying to to destroy your, your calling and your ministry. That's what I was praying for. I was really praying for this. Yes, I met I met the apostle of God one on one, in which I'm so happy and I thank God so far. Uh, what what the uh, apostle of God said? He said to me. Is there any, any, anyone from Botswana here? I just said it is I. After I said that, uh, the Apostle of God talked about my calling, that you are a prophet. Uh, but you being a prophet, there, is, there are some certain delays on your spiritual growth. Because of some attacks that I'm seeing, there are some certain, 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 certain uh, pastors and prophets who are, who are fighting at you so that they can pull you out of this way of God. And I confirmed it to be true. And, and the Apostle of God said, today you are very lucky because you came here. Uh, God is going to rescue you. Molly, he went deeper and, and talked about this issue that was troubling me more, uh, of the kingdom of finance who was not from, from the kingdom of God, who was sent from the kingdom of darkness to come and deceive me with silver and gold. So I, I was really much more enjoying it when, when, the, when God revealed it through the Apostle of God. Uh, in which I believe that it was, my, it was a, a, a break of chain for me because this thing has been kidnapping me. This thing has been putting me under a lot of pressure. Since ever I received all those things from that, from that kingdom financer, my life has been messed. I thank God for, for that revelation that God gave to the apostle of God. Amen. What I do to him? What I do is speak. Speak up. Speak up. Demon. <coughs> 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 Out! Leave him! Uh. What I do to him? <coughs> Lift him up. This demon wants to come. What I do to my brother? What I do 
scattering our things. What are your things? What are your things? You don't need me. You don't need me. I beg you. Amen. I beg you with fire all over your body. Amen. Leave him to do the work of God. Leave him. Leave him in Jesus' name. Yes, he prayed for me, in which uh, 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 hey, I, 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 f I feel the prayer. I saw the beginning of prayer, but I didn't see it end. But now I'm feeling the prayer. I, I, I know and I confirm that I'm, I've been prayed for because I can feel freedom and, and I can feel freedom in, 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 even, even on my spirit. There is no heaviness. Yes. Uh, I, I, I was, I'm, I'm not feeling heaviness. In, in, uh, in the, before I was spread for, there were a lot of heaviness and there was something that was moving up and down from here, from my, from, from my chest and to my throat, which the Apostle of God saw. And he said, there is something in your chest as I'm speaking to you. So that thing, uh, I, I believe God, it has gone out. Since then now, I'm feeling a fresh air inside of me. So which I believe uh, the prayer has been made. Actually, to be to be real, on my on my visions, I saw before before I, I I came here, I saw men of God delivering me, and I saw myself manifesting a lot of things. So I, though I have never manifested before, but I manifested here, in which uh, 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 it was my first experience of of manifesting as a, as a servant of God. Actually, yes, yes, I was so surprised. I even asked who was that man, but I saw it was. <laughs> I was so surprised. The power of God was at work. Yes, the, uh, the, 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 made, the, the, the most thing that made me to, 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 to be surprised, it was, it was that I, wa I wasn't thinking that a demon was living inside of me so strongly. 
though I could cast out some demons from other people, I didn't know that there was an, another demon that was hiding inside a man who can call out for a demon to check out. That was the most thing that that shocked me. Yes, I want to go. I want to go. Let, let me firstly speak to youth, the youth that are, are called. You know, it's very, very, very much more important. Morally, to to if you are called as a youth or you are a prophet or you are called what man, especially morally as you are, you are a youth, you have to be very much more watchful to the people that we encounter, the associations around you. Who who are the people, pastors and prophets that you contact and and have a, a share of the word with? Are they confirmed or not? I want to speak to the youth there out, those who are called. Make sure that you step at the right place, you walk with the right people at the right, at the right time. Because uh, rather, your calling can be, can be pressed down. Your calling can just de 